Hey there, it's Nathalie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. So this is part two of eight easy embroidery stitches. And so I'm gonna do the title part of this. Part one is uh, in the description box below. You can go there, my with all my art, and find part one of this uh, Stitching 101 project. Anyway, for this part, I'm just gonna do uh, and we're using the same stitches that we did in part one. I'm just gonna use the, in essence, the running stitch, which is just a straight stitch, just in and out, and uh, just kind of being mindful to not go back into the same place that my needle just came out of. Anyway, so I'm gonna go across and just do the word stitching and in this blue color. Also, just so you know, uh, because sometimes we get bored watching and things don't move fast enough, and anyway, uh, on your computer or on your phone in the corner of your screen you'll see a little gear icon and if you'll touch that or click on that it brings you up a little menu that, and in the middle part it says playback speed so you can slow that down or you can speed it up and then that way if you speed it up you don't really miss anything you just, you just see it a lot faster but anyway, so now I'm finishing off this word stitching. Now you could use this. You can draw your own patterns. You don't have to just use my pattern. You could, you know, be creative and do your own lettering or whatever and just use this. Or you could use a little running stitch if you wanted to. Also, so while I'm talking about patterns, the pattern's available uh, on my blog. And in the description box below, if you subscribe to my blog, which I'm not going to wear you out with emails or anything like that, you can get the uh, free download for the pattern. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do, I changed color thread, picked up the same red that I used in the running stitch, and I'm gonna do my little ones like that. And so this is to just kind of a training for you to be able to do some slow stitch projects. That's evidently a really uh, trending thing right now on the internet, or maybe it's just trending in my mind, but I don't think so. Several of the people that I follow uh, and enjoy watching their videos are doing slow stitching projects. And I thought you might enjoy learning how to do some little basic embroidery so that like when you're sitting there watching TV, you can do some stitching. And there's lots of patterns for embroidery out there. Or like I said, you can draw off your own. All right, so for the the zero, which I'm, I could have just done four stitches for a zero, but what fun is that? So I changed thread, put in some purple here, and I'm gonna do lazy daisy stitches. And uh, so just pick up that little, put this, you're going to go right down where you just came out of, pick up that fabric, loop that thread underneath, and then you're going to go over the top of that little loop to stitch that uh, loop down to make, to create that petal. Anyway, I thought that would be a lot more fun than just doing a zero in the middle of that for stitching 101. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed. I've loved your comments. Thank you for those of you who have commented on the part one of this, uh, this little series. Then I'm going to do four more. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead, come back down, catch that little loop again, and then four more stitches, and I'll show you how I'm doing the last one. And then for my middles, I am going to do a French knot and for the tops of the eyes I'm going to do French knots those are a lot of fun to do so get ready and change our thread to do that Isn't that sweet all right here comes the French knots come up from the bottom and then kind of lay your uh, needle flat and loop around three times and then stitch back into that like scooch a couple of threads aside and then stitch back in so you don't want to go right back in the same hole that you just came out of. And then do, again, I'm going to dot my eyes. I've already crossed my T's, so dot my eyes with a little French knot. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching. I just love it whenever you come here and, you know, when you like and subscribe and share me with your friends. That is so sweet. And again, I love your comments. And, and you can always make suggestions and or if you have an inspiration for something you'd like to learn, just let me know that too in the comments section.
anyway one of the things that I'm working on I'm fixing to show you in the next little section is uh, there's the pattern that you can download when you subscribe and then I'm working on some pages I'm doing I've got a collection of mother of pearl buttons and so I'm doing some pages for a little fabric journal anyway thanks again for watching and I will see you next time bye